Right, well, I have recorded this several times. But each time there's always something slightly different to see. Now, to the, this, when I walk up here, it always reminds me of the um, charge of the Light Brigade. Because they've walked up a valley and they um, were ambushed. I can remember when we were um, with the army cadets, we used to come out here sometimes to do exercises in field craft and things like that and um, ambushes. We practice that sort of thing. And uh, and it's always reminds me of that, even though it's, it's like a lead mining area, of course. And it will be very hot because it's a valley. I was up there earlier, that's where I found the bottle. Up there. There was somebody behind me a minute ago, I don't know what's happened to them. It was a bloke. <sighs> Might be more than one person, I don't know. Onward, onward. Drove the four, 500 or something like that. Yeah, this area all here, this would be riddled with snakes, I would have thought, you know. I've only ever seen one adder when I've been out on my walk, so that was um, Robero on the path. Yeah, a lot of uh, students, you see, I have seen in the past lots of students, teenagers, you know, young people doing map and compass. Uh, they're on courses out here, up the road. There's a place where the kids come to learn about that sort of thing, learn about the history, the geology, the geography. My own kids, I think, have been on it, but there's some um, also like college students are also. All right, just take a picture of that. That tree, not far from that tree up there, is where I found that bottle. A bit higher up from it, we're not very far away from it though. I was on a path up there. I'm just going to take a picture, turn it off for a minute. Right, here we go. So we come up this valley here, Velvet Bottom they call it, there'll be a history to all that. Everything you see, all this humpy bumpiness is man-made and it's all got specific technical names as well for this humpy bumpiness which I can't remember, <laughs> although I did at the time. I just felt I thought of one spot of rain then. It's one. It could have been a fly. I've got my umbrella. That's it. I don't think there's anywhere to shelter up here either, apart from going in the um, tunnels. The smelting tunnels. If it was like really bad, you know, you could just shelter in there. Depends if it went on for hours, doesn't it? Not many people out. Then I'll probably, what happened now, I'll go in this corner and there'll be 50 people coming towards me. Nobody following that way. You do get bird watchers and, um, People that follow animals, camouflage themselves and hide in bushes. Like I said, I've videoed this all before. 
I'm just doing it again because each year it's a slightly different time of year I would have come. I can't tell you exactly what month it was I came last time. So the vegetation, plant life and everything could look slightly different. Because um, I come out in autumn, you know, it could have been autumn I was out here or spring or middle of winter. Just doing a, a bit of a video to just give you an impression of that all this here, all this dipping and ducking has all been dug out by the miners in the past. It's, there's specific names for some stuff as well, for some features which I can't remember. Uh, it's all, I've got it all recorded though and at one point I think I had a little booklet with me and I was able to refer to it as I was going along. But on this video, this is just me going for a walk, really. You can start to see little bits of uh, slag. It gets bigger as you go on. More of it in the ground here. There was even once, um, from the, when the Victorian times, and perhaps post-Victorian times, a railway track out here. It would run along here. Um, further up there are some plaques. And of course it would all be very black around here. Not meadowy like this, it was all very carved up. Black smoke and chimneys, smelting going on. Um, men with dirty black faces from all the hard work they've doing. And, uh, but it would have been a busy place. <sighs> oh, right, over and out for a minute. 